When I was a brand new Christian, I was truly saved, but I had some lies in my head that kept me stumbling into sin. And the enemy kept telling me, while, you know, you need to sin, you want to sin, you have to sin. And I, I, I was trapped by sin until I read the Bible. And I found out that there were lies that were keeping me in sin and the truth would set me free. Let's talk about the lies that trap us in sin. The first is Christians sin every day. Well, they shouldn't. They don't have to. If that's you, stop it. The book of Romans is very clear. When we were saved, we were placed into Christ and Christ came into us and the legal authority of sin was broken in our lives. We are dead to sin. Sin is dead to us. Sin is like a dead person that has no more legal obligation or authority in our lives. So Paul says, shall, shall we continue in sin that grace may multiply? Absolutely not. How can we who died to sin still live in it? He says, for we know that our old self was crucified with him. Verse six, in order that sin's dominion over the body may be abolished, that we are no longer slaves to sin. You don't have to keep sinning. That's not who you are now. He says in verse 11, So you too consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore do not let sin reign or rule in your body to obey its desires. He says in chapter 8 in verse 12, So then, brothers, we are not obligated to the flesh to live according to the flesh. You have no more legal obligation to sin. Sin has no more authority in your life than what you give it. Stop giving it authority. You don't have to sin. You don't need to sin. And because Christ is in you, the new you no longer wants to sin. Christians sin every day? Well, that's a lie. They don't have to. Number two, I can't help the way I am. I've heard people say that. Well. The way you are is not the way you were. Before you were saved, you were a sinner who, who was given over as a slave to sin. But now you are a new creation, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. In Christ, you're new. You have a new nature, one that is no longer obligated to sin, one that loves righteousness, one that loves holiness. You have the very nature of Jesus in you. And just as Jesus had no interest in sin, the new you should have no interest in sin as well. Feed the new nature. Can't help the way I am? Well, the way you are is not the way you used to be. I often, when I get tempted to say, that's not me any longer. I'm no longer that guy. I don't have to do that. And the third one is, well, I can sin and get away with it. No, you can't. Galatians chapter six and verse seven says, don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever you sow, you will also reap. Sin always has consequences. One, it leads to bad things happening. Bad decisions lead to bad results. But the second is, maybe you say, well, I'm doing this. It's not leading to anything bad, but it's not leading to anything good. It's keeping you from being the person you could be, the person you should be, and it's keeping you from living the life that's gonna influence others the way you should be positively influencing other people. You can't continue to live in sin and walk with Jesus at the same time. Jesus died and rose again to defeat sin in your life. You can walk in victory. I'm calling on you today to choose victory in Christ Jesus be sure when temptation comes to remember who you are. I'm now a person who is dead to sin. I don't need to, want to, or have to sin. I am alive in righteousness.